Thank you. Member from Halton. Speaker, it's a pleasure to rise today and speak about a very special Diwali celebration that I recently attended. This past Sunday, I took part in the 40th annual Diwali Gala Dinner with the Nirvana Cultural Society. It all started 40 years ago when a group of remarkable individuals, people who refused to be defined by apartheid and the labels attached to them by the old South Africa, chose hope and a path forward in a new country. Mr. Speaker, Ontario's South African community is a strong community with strong values and a strong bond. They have seen what oppression looks like, tasted its reality, and fought it with all their might. Many of the people in the room celebrating the Hindu festival of Diwali had made a difficult choice during their lives. They chose to leave family, friends, and a life of oppression, and instead head for hope, freedom, and respect in Ontario and Canada. And from the very beginning, this group felt it had a responsibility to give back to their new country. For the past 40 years, this group has been fundraising money for various charities through this event, including the Stephen Lewis AIDS Fund, the Princess Margaret Cancer Fund, the Aboriginal Children's Literacy Program, and the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund, to name a few. It's a wonderful evening filled with culture, friendship, and tradition. So, Mr. Speaker, I'm pleased to acknowledge the Nirvana Cultural Society today for once again organizing a terrific Diwali event and for celebrating 40 years of freedom in the place they now call home.